that's our work in Photoshop. So I think the first thing I would probably do is just add a layer really and make it something that we had before. So something something like kind of a darkish blue purple, something like that. It, saturation all that doesn't matter all that much i like doing it this way and smuggling in another layer in here and then just using a gradient in between there and literally just trying out uh, how this works so gradient that's kind of like this and then this here will just drop down the opacity and just blend that in and the good thing about that is completely non-destructively you can now play with the with that layer and just go and see when the background is what you prefer if it's not quite dark enough no problem you can just go and make the main color darker or pick a completely different color this is also quite nice once you've got it set up like that you can just you can play with it and see when does it feel right so maybe it's a bit that's actually, actually i like that so that's how i'd make the background here and then um, after that, I would go and try the fog. So fog, that is new layer. And then you have a filter here under render. You can go and render some clouds and that'll look like this. And that's terrible, of course. But the good thing is you can just go and turn the blending mode down to multiply. And then you can see that something's there, but it's just, you know, occluding the image way too much. Drop down the opacity and just blend that in. And that's your fog. So without fog, with fog. So it's barely noticeable, but it is there. And you can have as much or as little of it uh, as you like. And there's all kinds of things. You can have, you know, fluffier clouds, larger, smaller clouds and all that. But that's how I do it. Then the vignette, I would do new layer. And I would go and grab my oval selection tool. So had I not had a vignette in the render itself, I'd do that. I'd just go and drag out something like an oval. Like we talked about earlier, if I wanted to highlight something in my image where it's essentially about a particular uh, piece, like a character, you could just do something like this. This is good in, in portraits where you really want to focus in on the character here and then basically dim all the other stuff out. That adds a little separation there. I'll go and inverse my selection let's go and use my paint bucket tool fill everything in this area here that's now completely pitch black now turn this into a smart object uh, deselect everything and since it's now a smart object you can now go and add a filter to this and i'm going to go and add my gaussian blur filter to this with a lot more blur than 15 so let's try 100 maybe something like that that's that's probably appropriate something really blurry and once again it doesn't look great but as soon as you drop down the opacity you just blend that in and then with or without you just highlight something noticeably on your picture so notice that the that the pumpkin guy isn't being touched but the rest of it is being kind of dimmed out so it's just a subtle way for the viewer to say this is the important bit of your image and when you stack those types of effects up like you know make a add a catch light uh, blur out the background and make sure that only the characters in focus there's no doubt in the viewer's mind what's important in this picture so then the the last thing in the puzzle is then of course final color correction and then we go and maybe add that here maybe add a bit more uh, contrast brightness depends on how you want your scene to look there and that is underneath the vignette if you want more vignette make more vignette or less vignette something like that so it's really the only other thing that we didn't quite have time for is uh, add a little light here and there just point lights to emphasize these pieces 